The versatility of trading in the forex market is a big reason why people are so drawn to it in the first place. I mean, it's a market that's open for 24 hours, Monday to Friday, with no stop in between. It's super convenient. And when you're comparing it to the stock market, which opens in the morning and closes in the afternoon, Monday to Friday, it is clear that the currency market is just more accessible at different times. In today's video, I am going to briefly discuss all of the possible Forex trading sessions that you can take advantage of, as well as knowing when to trade. So keep watching. What's up guys, Candice B here. Thank you for coming to my channel. Welcome back to my subscribers and welcome to my new ones. Shout out to the Open Gallery. This is my friend's company that he co-founded and they just celebrated their third year anniversary. So shout out to them. I will leave their Instagram link in the description below so you can check it out. If you are an artsy person, you like music, you like arts, all that good stuff, check them out. This is one of the reasons why I love the Forex market. The fact that you can access the market anytime you want between Monday to Friday and you can generate money is amazing to me. However, you have to keep in mind that price is not going to be entirely active during this 24 hour, five day a week time frame. And also one thing to remember is because it is so accessible, then that increases your chances of over trading. So it's very important to decide based on your lifestyle and your schedule, when would be the best time to trade and what currencies to trade during that time as well and stick to it. As a disclaimer, the intention of this video is to act just as an additional resource to help you in your research while you are trying to figure out what particular trading session to trade as well as what currencies to trade. So just take it with a grain of salt and use it as a resource because at the end of the day, it is totally up to you what trading session you decide to trade, what currencies you decide to trade as well. But you also have to keep in mind that depending on what time zone you live in, these trading sessions can be different as opposed to what you might hear or research. Since where I personally live is on Eastern Standard Time, that is the time zone that I'm going to be referring to in this video. So if you are not already aware, there are four trading sessions in the Forex market that you can take advantage of. So there is the London trading session, which opens at 3 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and closes at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. There's the New York trading session, which opens at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and closes at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. There's the Sydney trading session that opens at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and closes at 2 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then lastly, there is the Tokyo session that opens at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and closes at 5 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Each trading session has particular currencies that are more active during that session. So let's kind of break that down just a little bit. So when it comes to the London trading session, which is my personal favorite trading session, there are a few currencies that are more active during this time. So GBP pairs are the best pairs to trade during London session because of course GBP, London, and of course I can't speak for every single pair because I haven't traded every single pair, but let's say for example GBP, JPY, that would be a pretty good time to trade it because there is a lot more volatility during that time. So if you live on Eastern Standard Time like I do, this is a very early morning uh, trading session to trade, but if you are willing to do that and if your schedule and lifestyle allows you to be up at 3 a.m. to trade, then by all means. I have personally woken up at 3 a.m. many times to trade the London session. Uh, like I said, it's one of my favorite trading sessions, but it's very difficult if you are not a morning person to get used to it. So just keep that in mind. It might take a bit of getting used to and you wanna make sure that if you're waking up that early, that your mind is woken up. So you don't wanna wake up and then quickly rush to the charts. You want to wake up, you know, let your mind wake up, let your brain wake up, and then kind of slowly ease into looking into the charts. And I find that I have more success when I do that just because I'm not rushing and I'm not still sleeping. And then there's the New York session. So with the New York session, uh, a lot of good pairs to trade would be, you know, any pairs that include the US dollar, because of course US dollar, New York, it's the US. So they have more volatility, more activity. I personally like to trade the London, New York overlap. So when the New York uh, session is starting and also when the New York Stock Exchange is opening, then I find that that is a really good time to trade very volatile again, because I 
trade gold as well as GJ. So I found just from past just watching and kind of monitoring over some time that there is a lot of movement during that time. The goal for me personally is to not be in the market for so long. So you don't wanna be looking at the charts from 3 a.m. to 5 p.m. So focusing on the overlap for me has been helpful because you know I get in, I get out, and that's just that, then I'm done for the day and I can do whatever I want for the rest of the day. So it's super convenient. I personally enjoy trading the overlap. And then there is Sydney session and I personally don't know much about it, I'll be honest. Sydney, Australia, obviously AUD pairs would be better to trade during this time. Just by default, it makes sense. But again, I personally don't know much about this trading session or AUD pairs. So this is something where if you notice that, you know, during your research that Sydney session is a particularly better time for you to trade based on your schedule, then I would personally say do more research, figure it out just because I apologize. I can't really discuss that in detail. I don't want to give you the wrong information. So do your research. And then there is, of course, the Tokyo session. I call it the Asian session, but yeah, GBP pairs are uh, pretty good to trade during this time. You will see more volatility during this time. I have traded it quite a bit. I used to trade it a lot, but I realized that I had more success during the London session, kind of New York session. So I kind of stopped trading the Tokyo session, but if it works for you, because the Tokyo session is an evening trading session. So if we're thinking about Eastern Standard time, you know, let's say you work at nine to five, you come home, you can relax and whatnot, look at the charts. And then when Tokyo session opens, then you can trade it. So that is a trading session where it might be helpful for you to trade, especially if you are working a nine to five, then it would be more convenient. You wouldn't have to wake up early to trade it. It really depends on your trading style, how long you want to stay in a trade, what trades you want to take, etc. Or what are your goals basically? And if you're somebody who's choosing to trade different pairs in different trading sessions, then it'll definitely be something where you have to figure out based on your schedule how you can make it work because you'll be you know on the charts a bit more in my opinion it's something just to be careful with because really if you focus on one pair you can really learn that pair and you can really figure out how it moves you don't really need more than one pair to make money with the Forex market or to be successful just in general. So if you, let's say, want to trade like AUD as well as GBP, again, those are two very, you know, far away trading sessions from each other. It's not like London versus New York, where they kind of overlap or Tokyo versus Sydney, where they overlap. It's like you're trading, if you choose to trade two completely different trading sessions, then you have to just keep in mind that you'll be on the charts a bit more and then you have to think about over trading if you are over trading so focusing on one pair really is probably the best way to increase your chances of success with forex because you're not kind of scrambling all over the place oh no it's you know london session now oh no it's sydney session you're just focusing on one session you're creating that repetition that repetition in your schedule and that structure that you know that okay i have to wake up at this time i know what to do i look at the chart i look at this pair is there a trade take it close it, whatever. It makes trading become monotonous and that's what you want it to be is just very kind of casual, emotionless, same thing day in, day out, and then you know, you keep it moving. And knowing when to trade is very important when it comes to Forex. A pretty good reference that you can refer to is babypips.com because it actually goes through which pairs are more volatile, you know, on average, how much do they usually move, based on the particular trading session. So if you are in the process of creating your trading plan and you are trying to figure out how many pips you are going to be aiming for, let's say for example, you want to aim for 10 pips, then you can see, okay, I'm, I'm going to trade the London session, let's say, and I wanna stick with GJ. This chart will actually show you on average how much GJ moves during the London session. So let's say it moves 130 pips. Well, then you can figure out the math and, and figure out the probability of you being able to catch that 10 pips in that one move during London session. So definitely use that as a reference. I find it is very helpful to especially have a visual. I'm a visual person. So seeing a chart and seeing, you know, which trading session moves which particular way based on a currency, it, it just breaks it down so easily and so detailed that it, it's, it's really easy to make a trading plan around it. So how do you know when you wanna trade? How do you know 
you know, when would be the best time for you to trade? Well, again, that is all subjective. It'll be different for each person. But the one thing to keep in mind is that you might not always see a setup during your trading session with that currency pair that you're focusing on. And that is okay. So let's say, you know, you open the charts on a Monday, you're sticking with your trading plan and you're looking at your particular trading session and you're looking at your currency pair, but you don't see a setup then close your chart. That is okay because there is Tuesday, there is Wednesday, there is Thursday, and there is Friday. There is no rush for you to take a trade just because the market is open and just because you know, you're know you you're trading in a particular trading session. Even though, yes, there are higher chances of certain pairs being volatile in their respective trading session, it doesn't mean that it will be. So don't be discouraged if you don't see the move that you were assuming would be there in that trading session. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time and sometimes you will see, let's say, you know, gold that usually is more volatile in New York session. You might see it very volatile in the Asian session because of something that is happening that correlates to gold. So, you know, in terms of news. So don't be too shocked if you don't see a move in, in your session. But my personal suggestion would be to just focus on the trading session, even if let's say gold is volatile for Tokyo session, don't you don't need to take a trade in the Tokyo session just because. If you are able just to be patient and disciplined to wait for your currency pair to be active in the trading session that you are looking at, then that will really, really increase your success. And even if let's say you have some losing trades, it'll help you to go back and figure out why. What is the pattern? What is the reason why I'm not you know, winning my trades. Why am I, why is it hitting my stop loss more often than not? And then as a result, that will allow you to really go back and say, okay, is this trading session ideal for me? Maybe it might not be, but this is all very trial and error because even like I said, I used to trade the Tokyo session and I realized just by journaling my trades that the pattern was that I was not as successful. And so I traded the London session and I saw that my success increased and my losses decreased. So that is the goal. You want to see your percentage be positive overall, and that might take using trial and error. So don't be too stubborn. Don't just say, oh no, I always have to trade this session. If it's not working for you, then try to figure out maybe a different session to trade. Maybe there might be a better one, which might require you to sacrifice. It might require you to go to bed a little bit earlier or wake up a little bit earlier in order for you to adapt to that trading session but if it increases your chances of winning, then why would you not make that sacrifice? One thing about Forex is that it takes a lot of sacrifice. So if you are not someone who is willing to be flexible and be open to that, then you might have to second guess this. But this is just my opinion and, and my point of view. So please keep that in mind. There you have it guys, just a quick video for you. Just talking about the different trading sessions very briefly. Again, this is just a very brief resource. You want to do much more research. There's a lot more to these trading sessions and currency pairs that correlate then I've discussed this was a very quick video just kind of as a uh, something to give you in terms of just tips and opinion uh, that you can take and run with but I hope you enjoyed it I hope it was informative even though it was kind of short and sweet let me know by leaving a like on this video I would appreciate it and also comment down below let me know what your favorite trading session is what your favorite currency pair is to trade during that session and of course don't forget to subscribe so you know when I post another video and in the meantime feel free to check out my other videos on Forex. But again, I thank you guys so much for watching. I'm about to go out now. I know I'm a homebody and I don't know why I'm leaving my house, but it's okay. It's okay. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I hope you have an amazing day, week, and life. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.